Welcome back. One of Europe's most wanted fugitives arrested in Germany after decades on the run. Daniela Coletta was a member of the left-wing Red Army faction, a disbanded militant group linked to robberies and attempted murder. She's been on the run for more than 30 years, but it was an appeal on a popular TV crime show just two weeks ago, bringing in 250 tips that has led to her arrest. Coletta was found alone, and police also seized a pistol, two magazines and cartridges in the apartment block in Berlin. Police have been hunting her and her colleagues for years. So is this a testament to the power of television? Joining me to discuss this live from Berlin, correspondent of The Times, Nick Alipore. Nick, thank you for joining us. Uh, extraordinary story. I mean, it's, it's new to me, but probably not to the German public. How's this all going down there? Yes, uh, thank you, Rosanna. I think, in fact, uh, it's new just as much to the German public because the first thing to know about this case is perhaps that it's a very, very retro case. One could almost say it makes you nostalgic if the suspect weren't accused of such serious crimes. We're talking here about a an anti-American, anti-capitalist terrorist group from uh, from the 1970s um, uh, that was out of operating from the 1970s to the 1990s when Germany still was, you know, split in half, had a different capital. That was a thing that my parents' generation was discussing. And I think most people today probably haven't heard the name of Daniela Kletter before. Um, still, she has been on the run for, for more than a decade. She belonged to that sort of like final third generation of the terrorist group um, who committed mainly, may, most of her crimes sort of went down in the early 1990s. What we do know is that now police have captured her and probably based on tip-offs from the public, We'll get to that later, I guess. And um, it was sort of a routine sort of um, search of a um, Berlin apartment block in the very trendy neighborhood of Kreuzberg, you know, very left-leaning, fittingly, I guess, for an anti-capitalist anti terrorist group. And, um, you know, as you said correctly, they seized her with a few, you know, there was a bit of ammunition, but overall, you know, this is a 65-year-old woman. Um, she did not resist uh, her arrest. We also know of one other arrest that has been made, but there are no details yet. But as you said, you know, really um, an, an astonishing story as this woman now really a senior has been captured after 30 years on the run. Yeah, absolutely extraordinary, reminiscent of a very different era, as you so aptly describe it. Look, and this arrest came after a ton of tip-offs after a crime television show. It must have been widely viewed and quite popular. So um, another thing about this television show, it's sort of the, um, I would say, the mother of two true crime shows before there were any true crime podcasts. It dates back long into German TV history. And again, something our parents and grandparents would have watched. Um, I don't quite know about their ratings these days, but I do know that certainly enough people watch to bring in these 250 tips. Um, you know, the problem here is that police have said, ultimately, it wasn't a tip coming from that crime show that led to uh, Daniela Kletter's um, arrest. But, you know, the idea that um, the public was so intensely involved with this case um, is obviously a nice thought. Nick Alep, a correspondent for The Times in Berlin for us. Thank you.